Hey again everybody, this is Randy Burns coming to you with this week's 3 Minute Thursday. We got some cleaning up that we need to do first of all. Unfortunately last week we weren't able to come up with the number 3 item on the countdown. With everything going on in our school professional counseling it was just hard to get together with the right person to, uh, to do the interview. But the number 3 item on our countdown was the proposed PhD program in our school professional counseling. We had a, a huge turnout for that, so all of you that voted for that feel good that you were number three. Uh, Dr. Rigney is very excited about the enthusiasm with the new program, and, and so you can, uh, you can look forward to hearing more about that in the future. But now we're up to number two. With me today to introduce the number two item on this week's countdown is head football coach Chris Oliver. Chris, good to see you good again. Good to see you, Randy. Coach, if you would, I would like you to uh, open that up and introduce the number two item on this week's countdown. We would like to introduce the number two item, the Doris and Bob Holloway Health and Wellness Center. Which means <laughs> the number one item on the countdown that we will be covering next week is the Blue Raider football team that will be starting fall 2010. Coach, congratulations. And this was just a cruel setup, by the way, Randy, I, it, it, but it, you, you sh it's well done. Well all right. Done. Well, we will see you next week. Thank you. <laughs> so here we are in the number two item that you guys are most excited about, the Doris and Bob Holloway Health and Wellness Center. Uh, we're in the midst of construction and with me today is Lindsey Wilson Athletic Director Willis Puller has, who has been key to uh, the whole process up until this point. And, and so Willis is going to give us a tour of the building and talk to us about some of the capabilities that the building is going to offer the students at Lindsey Wilson and, and talk about how we got to this point where Lindsey is now going to have this 70 plus 70,000 plus square foot uh, facility for our students and the community to use and uh, we're just excited about what it's going to happen for what it's going to offer. Willis, welcome to 3 Minute Thursday. Glad to be here Randy. This building actually started, we probably started talking about it two years ago and did some initial plans through um, our architect Chris Cottingham and came back with some uh, drawings. It was probably about 25,000 square feet when we started. Had one basketball court, some basketball uh, nets off of it, uh, had uh, a place to lift the weights, uh, racquetball, um, and that was essentially it. Wasn't a lot to it. Um, since then, through uh, funding opportunities and things. We just had an opportunity to really grow the facility and there was a lot of discussion with Chris to get to the point where we we have a 73,000 square wow. foot building for our students to recreate in. And I'll just kind of point out some of the, the things we, that we've added and done in the facility. What, what you see here is um, going to be three basketball courts. Uh, We've got two wooden courts here in the dirt area that will be going this way. There'll be um, high school regulation courts. Where we're actually standing is going to be a multi-purpose court that will also have basketball, but uh, every court you'll be able to do basketball, you're going to be able to do volleyball on it, uh, probably tennis capabilities, really? some badminton capability, obviously for some activities courses. Um, Indoor soccer also probably um, on this multi-purpose court as well. So big area here, three high school size basketball courts. Uh, what you'll see over here are uh, locker rooms for men and women on these walls here. Uh, obviously people work out, they want to be able to take a shower when they're done. That'll be open to students and to faculty, staff and uh, community members. Uh, we plan on selling memberships in the community. Uh, so that'll be open uh, to the public. As you look here where the big crane is, um, just on the inside there is where on the bottom floor will be uh, free weights will be in there and machines. And on the upper level we'll have an exercise studio to do uh, Pilates, aerobics, all that will be in a big area there. And then this upper level here uh, that you see is uh, cardio mezzanine. There'll be glass on uh, on the wall there you'll be able to look into the pool and all the treadmills, elliptical, everything will be up there looking both ways. So you'll be able to look in and watch people swim or watch them play basketball. And uh, Obviously another feature you'll be able to see is uh, there's a walking track, as you can see, that goes around 
the basketball courts here. Uh, that's obviously people want to come and walk and exercise. It's another nice feature that we have. Brick, you see where the brick is here? Um, that's going to have one racquetball court in the facility, and that will right there where the bricks are and it'll be open up top for people from the exercise studio to look down in and watch people playing racquetball. We have a dedicated space here for our wrestling uh, program. We're starting wrestling in the fall. And, uh, we'll have two wrestling mats in here. We have a locker and office in here for our coach. Uh, so uh, we, we've got about 44 student athletes that will be wrestling in the fall and that will be dedicated space for them. Well, if you want to go look, we can go ahead and look at the swimming pool now if you'd like to, to walk over. Great, let's go. Uh, this is the uh, natatorium, and uh, of course we have our uh, competition swimming pool that's on the far side. It's eight lanes, a 25 meter by 25 yard pool, uh, where obviously our men's and women's swimmers will uh, compete and practice. It'll be open for lap swimming for student body. Uh, and also obviously community members who have memberships. The, we, all, we actually have almost, an, it's one body of water, but an extra pool here, as you'll see. This is a recreational area. There's gonna be some um, underwater benches and fountains, place to play water basketball. Really? Uh, a jacuzzi uh, hot tub up here in the, in the top corner. It's gonna, 25 to 30 people can, can go in there, so. Recreational area will be great. We'll do things like um, movie night in the pool. Oh, um, cool. Obviously, we want to do a lot of programming in the pool, learn to swim for kids, uh, water aerobics, uh, all kinds of programs that our, our swimming coach, Bart Garlic, will also be the aquatics director. He'll put together a lot of the programming for this facility. It's, uh, boy, you know, when you look at it, just the size of it, how exciting it'll be for students to be able to recreate here. And uh, for us in athletics, starting uh, men's and women's swimming, also a big plus. So, I also heard that we were going to have a rock climbing wall. The, is is the, that still going to happen? The plan is, if you can see on the far wall, the, the steps are in the wall there, the plan is for a, a portable rock climbing wall that can be attached taken down that would go up that wall so you swim up to the wall you climb up the wall and jump into the pool off of the the climbing wall so that will that's be cool. uh yeah that's the plan are there any other schools like us private liberal arts colleges anywhere close to columbia kentucky that have a facility even remotely close to what we're going to be able to offer our students yeah i'm i'm not familiar with any college of our size that's going to have this kind of uh, recreational facility in, in like you uh, mentioned before, this is a primarily a student life facility. I know I'm excited both as alumni director but also as a class of, member of the class of 93, an alum, uh, uh, at what this is going to provide for Lindsey Wilson and for Columbia. Uh, and I know according to your votes, you're excited about it too. And so we hope you've enjoyed your tour of uh, the Doris and Bob Holloway Health and Wellness Center. When you come back in November for homecoming, hopefully, Hopefully, uh, it will be open and ready for tours, and so uh, bring your bathing suit with you. Make sure you check back next week for the number one item that you're most excited about in the new initiatives going on at Lindsey Wilson, which is the Blue Raider football team, and we will see you next week.